Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Target exclusive Imperial AT ACT driver action figure. Um, this guy is pretty cool, but before we take a look at its packaging, um, I want to ask you all a, a question. Um, at my particular uh, Target, there's about 40 of these on the shelf, uh, just this figure, and there's also um, seven or eight of the Leia's from the uh, 40th anniversary collection. Just Leia, no other characters. Um, so I want to know, is that what it's like at everyone's target or if it's just mine that's that's like that? Um, I'm just curious, so leave it down in the comment section below if, if you shop at Target. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. Here it is, uh, got a nice big window here on the front, pretty standard for the Black Series. And then down here, it's got another picture um, of the character. No number on the side, of course, because it is an exclusive. And then on the back, um, it's got a brief description. If you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. Um, and then, of course, it's that same picture again here on the back, just larger. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure itself here. He stands at exactly six inches tall, so he's going to be right in scale with all of your other Black Series figures. And he does come with one accessory, and that's his uh, blaster here. Pretty nice sculpt work on there. Um, Lots of detail, and there's only a little bit of paint work, uh, just a little bit of silver right there. Other than that, it's uh, just black molded plastic. Um, but it does look fine, so um, I'm okay with it. As far as the figure itself goes, uh, it's pretty good. Um, there are a couple complaints I have, but I'll, I'll point them out. So here in the head, it's got a, a ball peg, really great range of motion, and then a hinge in the neck, which lets it move um, all over the place. Really great range of motion. Um, on there, no complaints about that. Ball hinge shoulders, again, with a great range. The shoulders tuck in here, um, which, you know, is the best of both worlds as far as articulation and sculpt work, because you can't see the joint, really, or not that much, uh, but then it's got the articulation as well. Hinged elbows with 90 degrees, um, better than the uh, Force Awakens figures, and then it's got the uh, swivel in there. A hinge in the wrist. Um, on this side, it runs... Uh, through the hand horizontally um, and then on this side it runs through vertically. Um, in the torso here he's got a double ball peg with a really nice range of motion. Um, pretty great. I can't ask for more than that really. The only thing I don't like is um, if you can see that they they didn't really weather the inside the joint there. So um, it's not really showing up that well on camera uh, but in person you'll definitely notice that they didn't weather that spot. He does have T-jointed hips, um, and out to the side are really uh, not that great range of motion. They do kick forward, and um, it does. Uh, these little pouches here do move out of the way, which is nice. They're made of a soft rubber. Uh, he does have a thigh swivel, double-jointed knees with a great range, uh, hinged ankles, and then, of course, an ankle rocker. So, overall, aside from the... Um, small, you know, paint mess up there, and the... Um, Poor articulation there at the hips. A really nice figure, definitely worth tracking down. Those two problems are not worth, um, you know, skipping this figure over. Um, so I definitely recommend this figure if you like um, stormtroopers or army building, uh, because apparently they're they're just all over the place. You could you could pick up forty just at my store. So uh, anyway, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I guess I'll see you later.